Okay, hi guys. It's been a day. It's been a fucking day. I look a mess because I've been crying all night. <laughs> Okay, so um, I thought I would get unready with you guys. I don't I don't think I've ever done that where I've just taken my makeup off and done my kind of nighttime skincare routine and that's what we're gonna do. It's, it's kind of hard to find a video I haven't done on the channel in the last like seven years, however long I've been uploading on here. But I feel like this one's gonna be in the, the weirder, <laughs> the weirder one. So I'm already missing a product, let me go grab it. I'm just gonna be taking my makeup off with the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Micellar Water and I'm using my reusable cotton rounds. So I don't wanna sound too dramatic but honestly some devastating to me to me in my life very devastating news today as you can see behind me I have a Christmas tree going up and as you guys know I love Christmas I love it so much I have always featured my trees and my ornaments in my background I love getting ready for vlogmas and just for the Christmas part of it <laughs> I mean uploading videos every day is kind of a lot but the actual just like holidays and celebrating and decorating the tree and all that is one of my favorite things you guys know I collect ornaments and so not only am I getting my background ready but I am also you know putting out the big Christmas tree that I have I posted a short last night showing my fiber optic tree that I got in 2020 and I freaking love it it's one of my favorite things it makes me so happy and we just put it up last night we didn't like decorate it yet and so tonight that's what we were gonna do I was like getting my I'm still getting my room ready we we're gonna decorate and I go out there and I go hey Sam like where are the ornaments <laughs> he goes what are you talking about they're right there I'm like no we have a whole ornament box which I'll pop a picture up here I have a whole box of ornaments I've done literal ornament tours on my channel like showing you my tree and all my ornaments I love them they make me so happy I collect them honestly I'm the girl that's like <laughs> the makeup girl the perfume girl and I would say next ornament girl I give ornaments to my friends and family for Christmas. I gave ornaments as my wedding gift for like guests. We had like a stand where people could pick the ornament that they wanted and it had a little tag with our date on it. Like it's pretty important to me. So um, anyway, <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, no, our ornament box. And he's like, oh yeah. And I was like, that's so weird. He didn't pull that out because we store all of our Christmas stuff in a storage bin outside by our car. Like it's meant to be there. It's locked up, whatever. And so Sam goes outside and he looks for the ornament box and he comes in and he goes, the ornament box isn't out there. And I immediately am like, what are you talking about? Like, what, <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm like, well, did you look here? Like, let's look at all these places. Lo and behold, <sighs> the ornament box, which houses almost all of my ornaments, I would say probably 90% of my ornaments, uh, probably honestly close to 100 of my ornaments is nowhere to be found. Now, cut to a month ago, we had someone open that, like break into one of our uh, storage units out there and they busted off the lock and everything. And when we looked in, like everything we thought was in there, we thought everything was still in there. So we we're like, that's so weird. But you know, like everything was accounted for. So we thought, and now looking back today, everything was not fucking uh, there. <laughs> our box of ornaments which this sounds so bizarre to say like this sounds like made up and it feels so personal to me because of how <laughs> how much I care about my ornaments and I know this sounds like so like there could be so many things worse than this but basically all almost all um, of my ornaments are gone out of my life all of them I'm not gonna cry in this video because I've already cried too much and you know <sighs> It just is what it is, I guess. But if you've been here on the channel, <laughs> if you've been subscribed for a while, you might have an idea of how like truly, truly devastating this is to me. Like these are ornaments I've collected over 12 years. Um, I'm someone who collects ornaments from all the different places we travel. So on all of our trips that Sam and I have gone on, and you know, me and Sam have been together now, since we've been like dating, it's been like 12 or 13 years. And if we go from marriage, we just celebrated our eighth year married. So we've been together a long time. We have a lot of memories. We have a lot of ornaments we've bought in tons of different countries, like around the world. We have ornaments from Australia, from Mexico, from Peru from our road trips uh, across different states, like, and they're all gone, <laughs> and they're all gone. Not to mention all my Barbie ornaments. I have a Barbie tree that I put up every year, and it has Barbie ornaments that I've collected since I was a kid, like since I was a tiny kid, <laughs> and they're all gone. I have a few at least because I had so many ornaments we started having an overflow box. Um, let me put this mask on. This is from Peach and Lily. It's the Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask. 
we need some resurfacing, guys. <laughs> we, we need to really singe off this day, don't we? <laughs> Seriously, though. I've used this once, though. So far, I'm, like, testing it out, and I do really like it. I really love a resurfacing either serum or mask, and I really liked how smooth my skin was after. It does burn a little bit at the beginning, but it gets better. It doesn't do that the whole time. But yeah, all my Barbie ornaments are gone, um, except for a few that my mom bought me more recently. Like whenever she's at the thrift store, she'll pick me up some if I feel like I don't have them. So I have the new, the, the new to me ones, you know? So I guess uh, silver lining, um, it's just pretty devastating, like. <laughs> I know it seems so like trivial, but I have just so many memories attached to my ornaments, trips to San Francisco, trips to Oregon for our honeymoon, like when we went to England, when I got engaged in France, like I have ornaments from all those times, from all those years. I have this one ornament also, I have an ornament collection, I'll leave that down below if you want to go reminisce on them. But, um, <laughs> I don't know why you would want to. I know that it's not personal to you, but it's so personal to me. It's like. I don't know, it feels like so shitty. And it, and I know it, it feels so weird because nothing else was stolen except this ornament box, which makes me feel like maybe it's not, like maybe you just misplaced it. And there's this part of me that wants to hold out for that to be hope, but the fact that it was broken into and the fact that it's the only thing that was in that cabinet that was like easy to grab, which makes it honestly even worse. Like it doesn't even seem like someone was like, okay, let's bust this open and just steal everything in it and then we'll figure it out later. Like we'll pull the truck up and steal it. No, they just took what they could actually carry, which the only thing in there that they could just like kind of walk away with is the ornament box, which is just like, so frustrating that I'm like, take all my other Christmas stuff. Like I can replace all my other Christmas stuff. I cannot replace years and years worth of ornaments that I've collected here and there. My little Roswell alien Santa hat when I went to New Mexico, can't replace that. My little kangaroo with the Santa hat, like can't really replace that. Uh, I have this ornament that Sam just got from Macy's free gift with purchase that's written on. It just says Merry Christmas from Sam and it has a date on it, 2010. And that was like one of my most like cherished ornaments. And like, you know, how do you get that? It, we could recreate it, I guess. Make a little replica, I don't know. Um, I don't know, my little narwhal, little sequin narwhal. I actually found one and I bought that today because I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like it feels so odd. And like, you know, I'm sitting here, like we have that beard. We have a lot of trees. I have a lot of Christmas trees. And usually the problem is, how do we fit all the ornaments on? You know, we have so many memories and ornaments. Like, oh, are we gonna fit them all on? Well, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> Now, um, the 20 ornaments that I literally have left, I'm going to be putting, I guess, on these one, this tree in my background, and then the one in our house, like, that's just in our living room, will just be, like, lights. Like, it's so weird to think that. Like, it's so weird, so many memories. I also have ones that, like, truly, truly can't be replaced. Like, I've mentioned briefly in a vlog how I'm estranged from my dad, and I have an ornament that he made when he was a kid, a little snowman, you know, homemade little clay ornament, and I don't keep much about our relationship. Like, it's like the only thing I have, and it's gone. <sighs> I know, I know. I'm really trying not to cry, I promise. I've just cried so much. I call my mom crying. My mom's like crying. She's like, no, you have to have it. I'm sure it's in there. I'm like, I know, mom. I know, I wish that were true. It's like, you know, I have this 0.1% hope that maybe we'll find it but I know that it's gone because actually everything lines up and to think that this happened like a month ago really and like I just didn't know you know oh my gosh like there's no decorating the Christmas tree for me this year you know there really isn't okay for this mask it says to keep it on for 15 to 20 minutes so I probably have a, a little bit more time it's so weird to think about and I know again like I'm really not trying to make it dramatic but like it's really dramatic it's like really dramatic for me <laughs> It's like a part of me, like it's like a piece of me, like serious, like seriously. I got this really cute ornament last year from Anthropology. It was like this honeycomb with bees on it. Oh, it's so beautiful. That's gone. <laughs> It's gone. I think a couple years ago, I don't think it was last year, I think it was the year before, there were all these little hats. Sam's grandma, she passed away a while ago, but she would make these little hats and we had a ton of them. So I made them all into ornaments for everyone for Christmas and gave them out, you know, to his family. And ours is gone. We had a couple. I think we had like four actually. Those are all gone. My wedding ornament. <laughs> My wedding ornament, that's gone. Like, oh, it's, you know, and obviously it's not about the actual material thing. It's like about what the material thing like unlocks in your memory for you. Just not what I was expecting today, ever, like ever. I thought, oh, I'll show our kids these. 
no, no, I won't. No, you fucking won't, bitch. <laughs> no, you won't. And I think it's so frustrating because it's like, I don't even know what's happened to them. Like, you think, okay, did someone steal them and like sell them? Did they steal them and like g give them? <laughs> Like it, it, it was literally an ornament box that like said Christmas stuff on it So it's like it looked very Christmas -y. and it's like are you putting them on in your tree? Did you just like steal them and just throw them off the side of the road? Like, you know, it wasn't really maybe a thought-out thing Maybe you weren't in your full mind when you did this thing. I mean, I guess I hope they're on someone's tree I guess I don't mm. okay. Let me get this off my face. <laughs> And we'll and we'll get the rest of uh, my skincare on. All right, I'm back. Oh, I love my face is like shiny like this, but I gotta put stuff on or it'll start feeling tight. I'm gonna spray down. I'm using this Tea Time Hibiscus Glow Mist. It's from Byro. I was introduced to this brand when I went to like a BoxyCharm event um, a little bit ago, and so they sent this over. It's been nice. Eye cream, we're gonna need it. When I cry, my eyelids get so puffy, so if you notice that in my video, <laughs> that is why. I don't know what it is. It's always my top eyelids just get absolutely <laughs> so puffy. I'm using that Belief uh, eye balm. I love this. So soothing, so nice. I should use one of my rollers. Maybe I'll do that later. That's kind of the news and the story today. <laughs> and it might be weird. Like, I feel like this is like the literal weirdest video that I've ever made, but also like, this is the weirdest thing. Like I keep walking around cause of course I was like, Sam, like I'm, I'm bawling. We're like looking, we're scavenging everywhere. My mom's like calling me back. <laughs> and everything and I'm like oh my gosh and I was like well let's go look at at least for a few ornaments and that's the thing this is like a collection over time you can't just go replace them all like I don't even like that you know it's like it's fun to collect them over time you know that's part that's part of it and so I can't even go and just buy a bunch of new ornaments like that's not even what I want I had just such an eclectic collection things from Peru my little llama like oh things I've just made into ornaments to represent different times or travel or whatever. <laughs> but in a bit of like emotional distress, to be honest, I was like, Sam, let's go out and see if we can just find a couple, like just a couple cute ornaments, you know, we're back to square one. We literally don't even have enough to cover a front of one of our trees and we have three. I really didn't find much, but I did find this and this says my first Christmas 2022. And it felt just so goddamn fitting because that's what it feels like. It feels like I'm starting fresh. 2022 has been a challenging year for me to say the least so much. I already like, I turned 30 deaths, surgeries, medical issues, and the cherry on top to really just make me feel like the slate is clean. I'm a completely different person. Let's just wipe the slate completely clean and not even have your Christmas memories, the thing you look forward to every year. <laughs> No, no, start new, start fresh. I'm really trying to keep a positive attitude. I really am. Like, I know it could be worse. Like, I know I, I would give up my ornaments for my family, for all, so for so many things. I'm not, you know, you guys know, I know you know. But man, pretty bad <laughs> for me over here. I'm kind of glad I filmed all those videos. Glad I filmed a freaking Christmas tree ornament tour. <laughs> 2020 because I really didn't collect too many in that time because you know We aren't traveling a lot and that is a lot of the time when I decide to get ornaments So I guess they're at least mostly on camera So that's kind of nice I guess and there are some that I'm gonna try to replace like a lot of my Barbie collection You know there is the possibility it's not gonna be fun and it's not like it's not gonna cost me some money But at least it's more possible, you know, whereas like some of those other ones like I had ones from when I worked at justice, you know that were my initial and I had ones from all different years and I had the date on them and I, you know, cherished those. But I, th I think the last part, I put on my dew drops from uh, Glow Recipe. I put on the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. This one's in Ginger Snap. It's like really festive. We need some holiday cheer because this is like the opposite of a Christmas miracle. <laughs> this is a fucking Christmas nightmare for me. This is like a Christmas nightmare. <sighs> Um, last step though, this is the all-in-one beauty aid cream from Touch and Soul. Really love this actually. Almost done. Like, we really loved it. So that's just kind of the update. I know I'm just kind of venting, but I figured I wasn't like so emotional. Like I'm not like crying, crying. I'm getting over it even though it's only been, I don't know, the reality of a couple of hours. <laughs> at this point, but I know it could be a million times worse and obviously I'm so appreciative that it's not worse, but man, what a blow. What a blow to my Christmas spirit, seriously. And I also just like, you know, I feel like 
<laughs> some of you guys who have been here will like kind of understand because I've had comments like about my ornaments a lot. I've had people even comment about like my Barbie tree and like can't wait to see that and stuff and I'm like <laughs> not happening and if you're wondering why my background won't have that my cute little narwhal ornament or my little jack skellington ornament or any of it <laughs> it's because it no longer exists in my life not by choice not by choice man you know and it's just so weird that it's like the only thing i'm like the only thing you stole like you could have so many other things in my life even my makeup i can like replace like you know anyway okay i'm gonna leave it here i'm sorry if i bummed you out that was not my intention i had other plans for today and it just like took a sideways turn and i kind of just wanted to tell you about this <laughs> I did, I wanted to tell you because I just feel like it's a big part of my channel. Like I make it a big part of my channel, you know? So yeah, I don't know how else to end it. I hope you guys are doing well though. I'm, I'm I'll get over it, I'll, I'll get over it. Hopefully in 10 years, I'll look back and at least have a little more of a chuckle, <laughs> a little more. I mean, me and Sam are like walking, like looking at all these different places and, and I'm like, Sam, this is so weird. Like it feels like, no, this can't be. And it's like, they're just gone. Like, it's so weird. I feel like, st you know, people stealing stuff from you is such a, oh, it feels so, vi it's such a violation. You know, it feels really personal and like <sighs> gross. It feels really gross. So um, anyway, there will be more holiday cheer. We will make new holiday memories. We have to, we got to start fresh, you know, it gives us a, a chance to, um, make new memories and I hope your day's going better and I hope your holiday season is going to be good. I'm excited for more videos. We'll have normal content. I promise tomorrow, <laughs> but yeah, other than that, thank you guys so much for being here. Thanks for getting on ready with me. Thanks for letting me vent. I appreciate it and, uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.